What is going on YouTube? Thank you for watching the channel. This video will be testing the Hubzone Zeno connectivity timeout variable of the new firmware of 1.1.51. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the contest, consider supporting the channel by hitting that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching. Enjoy the video. Let's get into the test. Let's roll. All right, so we're gonna do an auto takeoff here, guys, and see what is see what it looks like. This is one of the things that we needed to test is to see how well it hovered after a takeoff. As you, as you guys can see, it's staying pretty steady, and that's one of the things that this firmware improved. So I wanted to show you guys that too. What? That? Yeah, that's a just separate device. Yeah. Okay, so here we go, guys. Let's get it up in the air. Let's get it down range. I want to get one of them more quick. I want one of them too. All right, let's let it rip by. All right. Yeah, it'll do 30. All right, so I'm going to get it at 200 feet, guys, and I'm just going to roll it. And I think I'm going to do this test a little different, guys. I'm going to actually look at my... And look, you can see what it does, but look, look, you can see. It's in 4K camera. This is a very good value camera right here. Yeah. All right, so I'm 128 feet high, and I'm going to bring it up to 200 feet is what I said. Make that 250. We're at 150, climbing, 170, Dang. 180. 200, 220, 230, 240, 250. Okay, I'm a little higher than I expected. Uh, I'm gonna bring it back down a little bit, guys. I, w I went up to 290. I meant to keep it at 250. That shit look like a bird. That's when you gone. Okay, we are now 900 feet away and 249 feet high. We'll bump it up to 250, exactly 250, 1100 feet away, guys. 1259. Yeah, where is that? You know this place better than I do. I'm rolling right next to Hollywood and uh, Riverside, right down there. Damn, I am now 1700 feet away, guys. And uh, the magic number is 3280, is the discount, is, is a mile in feet. All right. Okay. Oh yeah, we gotta go to work. I forgot all about no. Hey man, enjoy. It. All right. Oh man. Hey, you can see it on YouTube. Duran Fi. Randolph. Du Duran A F Y. Okay. My name is Alfredo Duran, like Duran Duran. Yeah. And Alfredo like the sauce. All right, man. I'm gonna check that out too. All right, my friend. <laughs> All right, we're at 3,200 feet. We had two guys uh, that work here at the park. I have now have a disconnect at 3,262. Again, we're testing. Oh my gosh, it turned around right off the bat. That is fantastic really nice can I move the camera down I just bumped it a little bit guys oh yeah it did a GPS hold and it found me okay wow that is awesome is it coming back no but I'm gonna bring it back manually okay So I had a disconnect and the firmware worked as advertised, guys. I mean, it came back fast, super fast.
Oh my gosh, I am super impressed. I am super impressed. So Hubson Zeno has been doing a good job on the firmware guys. As you can see, I am now rock and rolling straight back to my location. Um, and I am headed to that big star, uh, uh, not star, but uh, it's a big cross. It's where I'm at. So that gives you a better view, as you can see. We're going to slide left a little bit, and I'm at the end of that circle on the left. And you can see there's the river in front of me, and I should be seeing it in front of me here soon. And it should be right above me now. And there it is. Wow, that was superb, guys. I am super impressed. Okay, so now I am going to take off the parabolic dishes. So the parabolic dishes are off. As you guys can see here, the parabolic dishes are off. And the Zeno is right up there. Let's see if I can show it to you guys with this guy. The Zeno is right up there. Yeah, it's hard to see, but he's up there. I'm gonna move it. That was a fantastic job on the Zeno's part. Of course, stop this recording and let's fly. Okay. Let's do another test without. So this time is with without the parabolic dishes. And we're gonna roll this thing way down range. You guys ready? All right, here we go. So if the battery level is 40, 40%. I might be taking a chance here, guys, but I think I'm okay with 40% battery. This thing should run out of range before I run out of batteries. battery a thousand feet away and now 1500 feet away still says if I have 40% battery nine minutes of recording time 1700 1800 feet 1900 2,000, 2,200, okay, 3100, 3180, disconnected at 3180, 
and the aircraft just turned around guys okay and I am going to tell it to bring it back home okay and it's going to roll Now, I think it's trying to get back now. Alright, so I'm going to drive it back, I guess. So, I'm just going to follow the um, contour of the two cemeteries, Hollywood Cemetery, which is the famous cemetery here in Richmond, and the Riverside Cemetery. I am now at 33% battery, and I'm rolling um, 2,300 feet away, and I am coming back. So, over and all, it looks like this firmware update is rock solid, guys. So, you have the takeoff hover, issue where we had the, the bounce effect um, uh, fixed and then we have uh, all right come on back come on back and then we have this the connectivity timeout variable fixed also so super impressed the Xeno is now mature and we are so happy that Zine, the Hubs and Company is actually developing good firmware for their aircraft. For their first really cinematography type uh, aircraft, this thing is doing real well, guys. Super well. I right, now should be able to see it. Okay. And it says that it's returning home. I'm just going to let it return home then. And I see it up there. And let's see if this thing lands right without hitting the trees is the problem that I have. It's like right above us here. It's going to come down on the trees. So I might need to abort it because it's not looking so it's hard to tell at this angle if it's going to hit the trees, but it sure is looking like it. Yeah, let's abort it. Okay, I aborted the function. I think I'll pull it back a little bit. And then drop it. There we go, that's better. Sorry about this, guys. I'm trying to film and drive all at the same time. I'm gonna bring it over to the right and forward. Okay, so the Hubs and Zeno it is now mature, guys. Look at this guy. It is really looking pretty rock solid. It's a little, it's drifting a little bit. No, there's no doubt about it. But overall, this thing is rock solid. Good, very impressed. Now stop the recording. It was a 15 minute flight, by the way. 15 minutes, so that's a long time. And it still has the prop rolling, so don't touch. Don't touch the on off button when the props are rolling. <laughs> Your finger might get it. I don't think it would hit, but it would still be close right here. See it? Very nice. In conclusion, 
the parabolic dishes did not make a big difference on the range test. It reached over 3,200 feet before the, uh, we had a disconnect. And the timeout variable was like right on. I mean, I am so happy. The Hubs and Zeno is doing such a great job with the firmware updates. The Hubs and Zeno connectivity timeout worked as advertised. It disconnected and 10 seconds later, I'm watching the aircraft turn around and facing us and getting a connection again. It allowed us all to get connectivity and regain control of the aircraft without having to turn the controller off. That's fantastic. So, as you guys notice on the video, I mean, awesome, fantastic. The Xeno has now grown up. Six months later, this guy is now fully developed. Okay, there is definitely some little quirkiness on uh, on the Xeno, but you have to just kind of, uh, you know, use them to your advantage. Use them to your advantage as you're cruising along and it's turning a little bit. Don't fight it, turn with it and just and let the Z, the, the scene develop, right? So you can get better shots. And when I fly high and fast, I never stop. I'm always moving that thing full throttle one way or another. So I'm rotating that stick all the way around the range, all the way around it, right? And when you guys are increasing and decreasing, <coughs> excuse me, increases or in decrease in altitude, the craft will slow down quite a lot. So keep that in mind. Just get used to how it all works, right? So the idiosyncrasies, use them to your advantage and that will help you create better cinematography. I'll get it out, cinematography that you want. And it's really, really an easy thing to do once you know the idiosyncrasies of this guy. So it is an awesome little guy. I love the Zeno. I love my DJI products also. But the Zeno is kind of fun. It's like the wild horse you've tamed and now you really enjoy flying because you tamed them yourself. So I hope that helped guys. And if it does, you know, let me know. And also let me know what you guys are interested in seeing in the future, right? The hand launch thing is like awesome. So I think I might just get the Xeno out with the 30% battery that I have left and do some more hand launches so you guys can see what they look like. All right, thanks for watching.